Hi everyone. Honor of Kings just launched officially in many regions. So in today's video, I would like to answer all of your questions related to the new server launch. But before we continue, let me introduce this channel to the new viewers first. You can call me Shadow. I created this channel two years ago, and I am making content for this game since the beta version release. You can find all sorts of content related to this game in this channel. Check out the playlist section to find your desired video. Now let's talk about the main topic of this video. Honor of Kings closed beta version first launched on August 5, 2022. Brazil, Egypt, Turkey and Mexico got the access of closed beta version. After five months of testing, beta version ended on December. So a lot of players thought the game will globally release on early 2023. But it turned out, first country to release the game officially is Brazil. On February 2023, they announced Brazil's server will launch on March. On March 8, 2023, Honor of Kings officially released in Brazil. A lot of players waited for the global release, but they were disappointed. But that didn't stop players from other regions to try the game. This game is pretty massive in China, so it's kinda obvious that many Chinese players would try the international version of the game. And that's what happened on the first day launch of the game. Asian players jumped into the game with Brazil VPN. Developers predicted that this would happen, so they created another server inside the Brazil version to avoid server crash. They created Hong Kong server for all the Asian players. This server was meant for Asian players, but they didn't mention its name officially. It was exactly same as the Brazil server, but in English. Developers put the same effort to add English content in the Hong Kong server. So, a lot of people outside of Brazil thought this was the global server. They kept updating the game, and lots of players continued to make progress on the Hong Kong server. This was going for almost a year now, until they announced new server launch on January. Players start to question what will happen to the Hong Kong server, but there were no words from the developers regarding this matter. Yesterday the game was launched in many regions, but accounts from the Hong Kong server stayed the same. There was a server migration option available in the game, but it was removed before the new server launch. This feature was supposed to change the registered location of the players. Here's what I think about the server change situation. Hong Kong server will stay in the game and your progress, in-game purchase, token, and skins won't be removed. But migrating this server to a new server is quite a complicated process because there are a lot of new skins available in Hong Kong, server that aren't available in the new servers. And some heroes are missing from the new servers, I will talk about this later in the video. So changing server is not as easy as you think. Developers will make an announcement about this matter soon, so just be patient for now. Honor of Kings is officially launched in South Asia, Turkey, Commonwealth and Independent States, Middle East and North Africa. These are the first regions to get early release of 2024, so the game is now available in those regions with dedicated servers. There's no difference in hero stats and update version of all the servers, but right now, there's some differences in hero and skin numbers. If you noticed all the new and limited time skins are not available in the new servers. For heroes, Shangguan, Eren, Chao Chao, Liang, Sun Se, Alain, Mayin, and Haino are missing. Total of 8 heroes aren't available on the new servers. They might release those heroes soon. But I have no idea why they removed those heroes. Apart from the heroes and skins, there aren't any difference between Brazil and new servers. They might add event and exclusive skins based on the region. For example, there will be some new exclusive skins for Turkey and Mena region. Brazil exclusive skins of Mayin might not be available for new regions. You can play matches with anyone in the game, even if they're from another server. For example, if you're playing in Hong Kong server, then you can still play in the same lobby with players from new servers. There's no restrictions for that. You can also add them in-game and send gifts and skins. Basically, it's a global server, only your leaderboard, in-match ping and events will be different. Lots of new regions got early access to the game, so what about other regions like Southeast Asia, North America, and Western Europe? Well, the officials confirmed that the game will release later in this year. 
To be exact, they might release the game on June, or even early. India is also a part of South Asia, but they didn't get access to the game. A lot of Indian players asking the question why it's not available in their country. But unfortunately, I cannot answer to that question, because there's no official announcement. There might be some internal issues between China and India, so the situation is complicated. But it's not like the game won't release in India. They might release the game in India on June release, so wait for the official announcement. You can still download the game from their official website, even if you're not from any of the official regions. But you will be playing in the Hong Kong server. To check the server, go to Global Chat and tap the city icon. Progress made in the Hong Kong server will stay in that server, but migrating it to a new server is not fully cleared yet. So keep in mind before you make progress. I hope I answered all the important questions regarding the global server. If you still have some questions with this issue, then let me know in the comment section below. I will try to answer your questions there. And that's it for today's video. Leave a like if you find this video helpful and subscribe if you want to. And as always thank you for watching.